What's up guys, today we have this. It's the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X CPU. <clears throat> 16 cores, 32 threads. Uh, PCIe 4.0. Uh, well, it has a max boost of 4.9 gigahertz and a 3.4 gigahertz base and no integrated graphics. Because they're actually using all that space, I guess, for more power like on the CPU. All right, in the box, all you really get is the CPU, nothing else. You get, okay, fine, you get some instructions, and that's really it. And then the rest of the filler in this box is this, <laughs> an empty piece of plastic. That goes to show, well, one, there's a lot of material wasted in this box, and number two, that there would have been a stock cooler if this box was reused for another one, for another CPU. Anyway, they also comes with, it also comes with a sticker, which you can put on your case. Uh, I put all my other CPU stickers on my fridge, but if you want to do that, feel free. You can put it on your car as well. No one's going to care. Anyway, here's the CPU itself. Take a look at that. The 5950X. Remember, uh, if you've watched up to this point, thank you. But there's probably, I might put a um, CPU installation part that's going to be recycled in two videos. Actually, this video, which you might see coming up. And also a motherboard unboxing video, which stay, well, subscribe to my channel so uh, you won't miss it. Anyway, here's the back side of the CPU. Lots of pins. This uses the AM4 socket. And I would recommend an X570 board. I'll be installing mine on an X570S board, which is supposed to be better in some way. I don't know. Anyway, thanks. Um, oh, wait, no, not yet. Cut to the CPU installation part. All right, finally, on to the CPU installation. Fine. Anyway... You get your CPU, in this case mine is, of course, the Ryzen 9 39, no, 5950X. Pop the cover off real carefully, don't want to drop the CPU, that'll be bad. Lift up the metal arm on your motherboard. There's a little gold triangle, in this case it's right here on the lower left corner. Align it with the plastic triangle there, it's on the, oh, for me, let's look at the CPU straight like this it's actually on the lower left corner there's a very small gold triangle there and there's a very very small not really small but just kind of invisible there it is you can see it the triangle no other side has it what you want to do is line up the cpu with the triangle sorry my hand might be blocking most of it but this okay both triangles are lined up now just kind of wiggle the CPU, make sure it's fully in there, and then push down on the arm. It shouldn't take too much effort to press down. If you apply pressure, uh, you might break it. Yeah, you might break it, put simply. So don't apply too much pressure. There it is, CPU installed. Uh, that's it for both videos, actually, since I told you this part's gonna be recycled in two videos. Subscribe so you can make sure you see both <laughs> uh anyway thanks for watching like subscribe and comment and i will see you next time